drive through workers of reddit what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone's car a lizard chilling on someone's dashboard being fed veggies a cat was also in the same car my lizard was on my dash the entire drive from ca to seattle to wisconsin never thought she was too out of the ordinary I might need a new glasses, I thought you had a bison on your dashboard. A tortoise that took up the whole passenger seat. Well it would've taken him too long to walk there. When I worked at Dunkin Donuts this guy came through the drive through with a huge falcon in his passenger seat. Okay that is just plain cool. Weird. Sure. But really cool also. It was. We all went outside to pet it lol. He was a cool guy, apparently he worked with all types of birds and helped foster them when they were injured and then re-release them back into the wild. Working drive through at Starbucks. Some guy pulled through with car filled with boxes. He said they were filled with flashlights and offered me some. I completely forgot about it till I got off work. When I got out to my car there were 5 boxes each filled with 20 brand new Duracell flashlights still in the packaging. Had to be worth at least $500. And he had many more boxes. A baby kangaroo. To clarify, I live in New England and this is not normal. To be honest I was just out of view of it, but it caused quite a clamor. Even in Australia I can't imagine driving around with kangaroos is particularly common. Definitely haven't seen any kangaroos in cars in Australia. A woman came through with no passenger side seat. It had been pulled out, and in its place, hung a giant metal ring with an enormous cockatoo sitting on it. Thing was going mental when she pulled up. There are some crazy bad people out there. I knew a lady who let her parrot sleep in her bed. She rolled over in her sleep and smothered the poor thing. Also her shirts all had shit stains trailing down them from letting the bird just sit and poop on her shoulders. The lady who lives across the street from me has slash had tons of birds in her house. She used to leave her windows open and the birds would be squawking all day and I think she got a noise complaint because I've seen cops show up at her house and talk to her. Since then she kept her windows closed. I also remember on Halloween, when I was younger, she would invite kids into her house to come look at the birds and parents would run up and take their kids away. Me and my friends stayed clear. It's been a while and during the times I've been back home, I don't ever hear the birds, so I don't know if she still has them. I called the cops one morning as I was getting ready for work at like 4.30 am. Earlier I think than most people because I swore I heard a woman screaming help help me. Screaming. They investigate where it's coming from and turns out my neighbors had an illegal exotic bird who was losing it over being held captive alone and was making its displeasure known. My mother used to work the drive through at Burger King when she was a teenager. She told me that a man used to come through some nights completely naked except for black see-through stockings. Thigh highs or all the way up. All the way up. She said his junk was squished in like a sleeping squirrel. That is an image. She has a way with words. I once saw a woman roll up to the window and she must have been at a minatrix as she had a man in the back in a leather outfit and a rubber pig mask. I can only imagine that was his kink to get embarrassed at a KFC drive through Here's your six piece. Would you like me to humiliate him? Because I can do that free of charge. This is someone who understands customer service. Back when I worked drive through at a McDonald's I had this guy ordering who, number one, took like 5 minutes to order a breakfast burrito and a drink, so I was pretty fed up already when he got to the window. When this car pulled up, I was really not expecting to see a chick wearing nothing but a bra and panties in the back seat snorting cocaine off of an iPhone. I was staring at her while I took the guy's cash and she glanced up and noticed me and ducked down a little bit. Like, babe, you're in a pretty short car. If I can see the floor from here I can definitely see you. Guy just drove off to the next window like nothing happened. Also served a lady on a horse one time and was subsequently told they had to be in a motor vehicle to come through the drive through but that wasn't as strange since there are horses in our area. That story escalated quickly. I know right. Horses are fucking wild. I work at a drive through car wash. Woman came through with a bucket of KFC mashed potatoes stuck to her window. We cleaned it off. When I was working at McDonald's, one time a woman pulled up with three monkeys and ordered them each an ice cream cone. 
I still think about that from time to time. And I thought it was weird that this lady used to come through every morning and ordered a sausage biscuit for her poodle. For months, I just thought she liked sausage biscuits because she came through every day. Then one day we ran out of biscuits. She said, oh that's okay, and pointed at the poodle in the passenger seat. He only eats the sausage anyway. From then on, we saved her clothes to $1.50 per week on dog food because asking for a sausage patty cost less than a sausage biscuit. You can order just the patty? The weirdest thing here is that your ice cream machine was actually working. Once had a hearse complete with coffin pull through followed by family and friends in the cars behind. They said the guy in the coffin always enjoyed McDonald's, so it was his final wish to be visit one more time. This is so much sweeter than my hearse customer. Grand theft hearse, no rest for the wicked. He was dying for a burger. 